Guys, I got a package in the mail, and I'm about to be a package in the mail. I wanna give this video a little bit of context before I take you along a very exciting weekend. Amanda and I are going to Minneapolis, Minnesota for the very first time, and you might be thinking, why? If you didn't know, that is where the Aveda headquarters are, and for the very first time, I'll be attending Aveda Congress, which is, well, you'll see what it is. But to kick things off, they sent over this little package that reads, we're honored to host you at our upcoming Aveda Congress 2023 experience. I'm gonna cry. Please find a gift enclosed for you to enjoy some Aveda in-flight must-haves as you begin to prepare for your trip. Safe travels to Minneapolis. Warmly, the Aveda communications team. For anyone that doesn't know, I'm an Aveda artist. I went to the Aveda Institute for Hair School. So I grew up with Aveda as my professional background. I've worked in Aveda salons. I've used their products for so many years. This is a huge deal for me. And this is so freaking cute, this little travel bag, which I'm sure we'll be using. Let's go pack and head to the airport. Air tags necessary. Is a full size luggage. I'm only gone for two days, but I might need to do some shopping. Plus, a girl's gotta have options. One more thing I'm obviously packing. I literally cannot travel without it. The Nutri Plenish Replenishing Overnight Serum. This is also great to put on before the flight. It will really help to keep the hydration. I already put some on my bangs. I'm not doing what you think I'm doing. Yes, I am. You just see that? Also, I'm not using my good scissors. I'm using scissors from Amazon. I got a whole bunch of them to review. These are not my fave, so you won't be hearing much of this from me, but it's just what was in reach. It has been almost a month since I cut it, so it's only natural that I might need to slowly start reshaping it. How are we the last one standing? <laughs> oh, we stopped! Now I'm awake. I'm moving in. So we made it to Minneapolis. We are officially at the hotel. And as we walked in, we found swag bags. So before I do an unboxing here, I'm just gonna set up the tripod because life is content creators. We can't go anywhere without our tripods, okay? Man is eating nuts. So if you hear crunching in the background, there's that. We unfortunately slept through our entire flight so we did not get any in-flight snacks. There's in-room snacks, thankfully. Okay. This thing is heavy. Let's get an item count. We got step one, scalp solution, scalp massager. I actually really like the scalp massager. It's different from other ones. And fun fact, right after this little unboxing, we're gonna be heading over to a salon and getting a full scalp analysis, scalp treatment, and style. Look at that. No, because incredible. We have an umbrella, which is probably gonna be needed. It's rainy on the forecast this weekend. No, look, perfect. Need that. Oh, oh that that's is. pretty. Iris Van Herpen. Aveda's very fashion forward, so they always collaborate with designers. It's actually green on the inside. But we have more from Iris Van Herpen. This is a hairpin set. Ooh, maybe we'll have to style these later. A water bottle that truly looks Iconic. Mm. The travel goodies. What do we have? We have the Invati Advanced Thickening Foam, which I would love to style with actually. The Curl Gelee. Perfect. Oh, and the Bond Building Styling. Wow. <coughs> God bless you. Thank you. That, this right here is a killer routine. If I have to rewash my hair after the salon, which is just a hypothetical, this is a perfect routine that I can use right now. Whoa, what's in there? Like, if you were going to propose, just say that. Not Aveda. Okay, come on. Mm. There's a locket. I don't know exactly what this is for, but there's a bunch of extra felts in here. I don't know what the felts are for. Imagine it's something that you put scents in. And it like oh, maybe. Like that's that's a vibe I'm getting. Last but certainly not least, a sweater. Mm. I needed this on the airplane. It was freezing. Now we're gonna have to get ourselves together and we'll see you at the Jute Salam. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Hi. Hello. And a male, Oh, wow. All about scalp solutions. Wow. Scalp health. You're going to start by getting a scalp health check. Perfect. With the camera. The Scared to see that. <laughs> um, and that's where they'll check for five signs of scalp aging. 
So what we're going to do is we are going to film an up close view of your scalp. This camera magnifies the picture by 700 times to so look at the scalp. Wow. We're going to take two pictures. Okay. One just to look at your scalp and then the other to look at the hair follicle. So we're just going to get a nice beautiful picture and then I'm going to show you the result. Okay, sounds good. So what we're looking at Oh, your scalp. Let me just tell you. It's really good. Really? Yes, ma'am. Two lines are just indicating a little bit of dehydration just okay. on the skin. That is how many hairs are coming out of each individual hair follicle. And you, Amanda, are at a three. You have three hairs coming out of each individual oh, hair wow. follicle, which means you have a lot of hair density in one area. Wow. And where we see, we may have a few, two, like two here, two here, two mm -hmm. here, two here. We go back to my three. Every once in a while, we might find a one. A little one right here. A little one right in here. 120 is the average, and you're at 145. Wow. So that means you have a lot of hair per follicle, so you have a great uh, hair density. Here's what's even better. Where we see twos and ones, you have the potential to have three hairs growing out of each individual hair follicle. Oh. By making sure that it is cleaned up, well, that's what the scalp solutions will help with, is ensuring your scalp is optimum for optimum hair growth and yeah. hair health. I used to have very, very long hair. And then in my first year of university, I just had a very impulsive moment where I started watching some YouTube videos and I was like, I just, I wanted to cut my hair. And I cut it, oh, it was a little bit longer than this. It's the shortest I've ever been, but um, I cut it to like a bob. And I just like went and I shocked my whole family because I, I just cut it curl by curl in my sink. It was because, you know, I could never really trust anyone else with my hair. And I figured, I mean, if I do it, I can't blame anyone but myself, which goes wrong. And it worked out really well. And from that moment on, I'm like, you know, I think I have something. And then I stopped university and went to hair school. Beautiful. Thank you. Wonderful job. Thank you, thank you. I am going to stretch you out a little bit with a test. And then we're not going to go and get your and start working with more of this. All right, I'm filling in the gaps here a little bit with some voiceovers. This clip was 45 minutes where I sat at this bowl and got my scalp massaged and taken care of. That's what I really love about Aveda. It's not just about hair, but also wellness. So my stylist Marie here, whose birthday it was actually, what an honor to sit in her chair on this special day. She's giving me the hydration treatment, which included more massages on my scalp and even on my hand. That was so nostalgic for me. I haven't had an Aveda hand massage since I was in hair school. And if you ever want like a full Aveda treatment, give those institute students a chance, okay? Even if you're just going to get styled, like maybe if you're worried about getting a haircut. But anyways, moving on to styling. Marie styled me with some of my favorite products. We use the Aveda Nutriplenish Leave-In Conditioner, followed up with the Styling Treatment Foam, as well as the Curl Gelée. And I wanted a big voluminous look for this weekend and she gave me finger coil twists that way we could really set the curls which i don't usually do if i'm going to finger coil i usually take smaller pieces she took these really big chunks and we separated them all afterwards with the nutriplenish multi-use hair oil i was very happy i did not feel like i needed to go home and rewash my hair so i was i was thoroughly impressed set me up for success for the rest of the weekend i was just so excited to put my best hair and fashion forward so we headed over to the convention center where we started to get a little behind the scenes action. We got to see backstage of the behind the scenes of all of the artists getting ready for their shows and then we did a little bit of merchandise shopping. Um, I bought too much that I did not need really. And finally, to make this weekend even more special, we ran to meet our cousin, our blood, our love, who moved here recently and she really missed us. She doesn't know what to do here in Minnesota. <laughs> We found her! We found her! Oh my, oh my god. god! It's amazing! Thank you, ma'am! Oh, get, get in! in. <laughs> <laughs> You're a doctor, you should know how to do this! <laughs> okay, check the fit, check the fit! We have a dinner, so I'm about to get ready. 
but I thought I'd just show you some of the merch I got. We spoiled and soiled ourselves spending far too much money at the Aveda Congress when we went to go check it out. We got to see a little behind the scenes of the prep for basically all the shows that are happening this weekend. Very exciting, very inspiring. We picked up some, some merch and I have to show you the jewelry. Oh my God, oh my God, look at this. First of all, I'm decked out and like I said, spent far too much, but look how cute this is. This is a bracelet with scissors and a comb. You're telling me that that wasn't made for me? But wait for it, because it gets better. Earrings. You know I'm wearing these tonight. You know I'm wearing these tonight. Let's style them. This outfit is very much rooted in sustainability because I am out there repeating and out there re-eating. Because when an outfit is this good, you just have to wear it twice. And I wore this last year at Aveda's holiday event, except this is a different color. This is a dress from 3.1 Philip Lim that I bought when it went on sale. Let's get into it. If I'm slipping a sweater or turtleneck over my head, you know the deal. Bonnet on and we're gonna slip. Aveda being Aveda, it was very on brand to feed us all things vegan, so our entire cuisine was vegan for the weekend, and as someone who was vegan for two years, you know, it was very nostalgic, and everything tasted delicious. It was great to be back. Okay, we're back from dinner, and I've already taken the dress off, and I've even, I mean, I shared a little bit about my journey here, but I now journal, and I wanted to journal today, like, fresh while it was in my mind, because it was so amazing. We met so many people that I've known on the interwebs and through education like i've known for years and looked up to for years as mentors and i've seen them in real life so i've jotted down a couple pages i'm keeping my notes and this will be coming with me tomorrow to the show because we have a lot more to learn we'll be getting some deep talks from the research and development team at aveda we're gonna get to go through a whole sensorial experience apparently we get to make our own version of an aveda fragrance and of course it's going to be incredible shows so until then i must wash my nose look at the shine coming off that thing rudolph she glows i've also always wanted to be one of one of these girlies as they get unready and i'm not kidding this is like the softest one i've ever put on like i just feel like i'm obsessed with my own vibe right now we did get rained on the weather is brutal but i just put a little bit of my essential just to smooth and refresh some of these ends that way my hair is ready tomorrow when we begins it's gonna be a bright and early one so i'll check back in good morning it's a filming morning just did the face now i'm gonna take my bonnet off but look amanda hey amanda is filming and slaying a super cute hairstyle look at the texture and look at the disaster <laughs> why are we like this actually this is pretty tame there's actually stuff everywhere never mind let's debon it together so i actually flipped my head upside down yesterday when i put my bonnet on because i was going for a bigger more voluminous look i mean that's how the hair was styled yesterday so we're running with it i just gotta do lots of shaking because she needs some waking running late as per usual but we is never Everyone else is Aveda Caucus is a really special moment for us. It's a time when our artists and salons and friends of our brand come together to be inspired by world-class artistry, to learn about our vegan hair care innovation, and to celebrate our mission of care. Aveda Congress is so much more than a hair show, though. It is a celebration of our entire community coming together. Our salons and spas, our artists, our institutes and our students, and all of our mission partners. And I can't wait for you to see the main stage show tomorrow. It is amazing that it's videos, but it's really where it comes all together, and it's where you'll see that our artist is the heartbeat of Aveda. I can say that Aveda is it's different from any other brand because it wants everything all at once. It wants to be high performance. It wants to be naturally derived. It wants to be vegan and cruelty free and sustainable and good for the health of the stylist and the guest. And as they mentioned this morning, B Corp certified. It's all of those things at the same time. 
I cannot express this enough. This weekend wasn't just about Aveda or just about hair. Actually, Aveda means knowledge of the whole, and this was like an all whole encompassing, holy shit beast. Anyways, uh, it was an all encompassing weekend with not just hair, but community and artistry and fashion. And it was so inspiring in so many ways. There were incredible displays of art, but also speakers that spoke inspirationally and it was so uplifting. They had wellness moments, which again is so Aveda. <laughs> Uh, it was very nostalgic for me like if you get it you get it if you don't well I hope this helps you get it I hope this helps you understand some of my excitement and some of our passions for this brand and just like everything that it means and why it was so special for us to be here I started learning about the different diseases there are actually 28 diseases you can track directly back to unsafe water met this girl in Kenya and I remember watching in horror because she would drink from this bottle which came from a river and then she would throw up. You can kind of see it over here for sure. And she would drink some more and then she would kind of spit up. I remember we took this water away from her. I gave her everything we had in the Land Rover. So I took that bottle back to New York City and they put it under a microscope. And this is what they sent me. I remember the lab says, we're not experts in all the different kinds of amoebas and parasites, but the water you sent us is alive. No human should drink this. And that's all she had. I wanted to build the most transparent charity in the history of the world. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about leveling up. What's it like to be on the other side of the How can I get better? Sometimes it's not just how can I get better. Sometimes it's how can it get better. Or how can we get better? Uh, who am I getting away from? Uh, am I enjoying it? Last question. Why do you want what would I do if I knew I could fail? It's been confirmed by Van Council and the Van Michael creative team. I repeat, a tornado is coming. Take cover now. When we're walking and there's like photographers and videographers taking content of us, Amanda gets like really shy. She kind of like, oh, it's, I go like, like a turtle. I want you to open up your chest. Put your chin up and flaunt. Just gotta walk. My feet hurt. You made me wear these really uncomfortable shoes okay. today. And then my feet hurt. Now you're blaming me. Anyways, shoes. we just we just scarfed down our lunch and now we're we going scarfed. back. Is there something in my teeth? Man, there's something in your teeth. I feel like there is. Anyways, we're going back to... Back at it. Wait, where are we going? Oh. Oh. I have been doing hair since I was nine years old. And when I started doing hair, I said a lot of the things over here that the beauty industry gave me to say. And as an adult, and the older I got, I realized how the beauty industry spoke to me and then how I spoke to others out of what it said to me. And I realized some of the errors of its ways. I'm a part of this community, and I love this community because of what we do for other people and how we make them feel beautiful. But I want you to remember that this industry that has existed has ignored for a great part a group of people that spend more in the industry than any other demographic. And that's people that also look like me. And I've had to unlearn speaking to others the way that I was internally speaking to myself. That means everyone has to do internal work to speak to people better and well. What are you eating? It's a pudding. What are you eating? It's really good. It's chocolate banana pudding here. Have a bite. Have a bite, don't be shy. We always use naturally derived ingredients. And another key point of difference in our aromas is that we uh, strive to create really complex aromas based on these beautiful natural ingredients. There's nothing on your label. <laughs> it's harder to write on it now that it's on the bottle. Oh. I like yours. Oh, okay. Perfect. We made one for each other. We made one for each other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Was that not going? <laughs> it's not going. It's not No, gonna... mine, mine was a struggle. No, it's, it's my hand. <laughs> it's me. Hi. Is your... I'm the problem. It's... Yeah, Amanda has a normal wrist. See? I like that. Musa, maybe try your left hand. Okay. There you go. Just give me a minute. <laughs> yeah, they bad protect spirits. you from bad spirits. <laughs> And finally, we got into the last show for day one, which would be the last show that we were going to see. It was by Antoinette Beenders, who is the Senior Vice President of Global Artistry of Ada. She's kind of iconic. Um, she was showcasing her Apo collection, which is a piece of hair. This was like an award-nominated collection, which was, I mean, it's art. This is art. Is it wearable? Maybe but it was so freaking cool to see. This whole portion was very focused on fashion and we got to see a lot of bob haircuts. I told you, it's the year of the bob. It is super trending. This curl was giving me absolute life. And this collection was actually with Stella McCartney, who's a brand I need to do some shopping. All their bags and collections are with Miriam, which is a vegan leather that they created. And they were so freaking cool. And for the final runway moment, they showed how they created some of the looks for the for the promos of this year's holiday collection, which is with Iris Van Herpen, those those hairpins that we had in the room. I think this is so cool. Everything was. I was less speechless, and I'm gonna stop speaking now, so you can just enjoy the rest of this. Mel's crying. I'm crying because I've just run into so many people that have told me that I've inspired them. I feel so inspired after this entire weekend. This has been very emotional. It's been very full circle. It's a very special moment. I'm trying to hold it together, but um, thank you guys. So, English. Thank you guys so much for following along this journey with us. Thank you, Aveda, for being part of my family and part of my hair journey. This feels like home, and it's truly been an honor to be here this weekend. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Peace. Oh, oh God. Amanda's feet are finished. I hate you for making me wear them. I never made you wear them. I wanted to wear my Okay, hair. let's see what you would have worn. My feet are gonna smell. Ew. Come on, I have to share a room with you. Oh. oh. Whoa. Hey, there's more treats. There's more gifts. Supernatural. Oh, we got a pure fume. It's called perfume. And it's pure. Fume. What does that mean? Because they're a pure citrus fumes. citrus floral aroma that brings together our supernatural powers of artistry and nature together with you. Gradient mimosa flowers revive sparkling bergamot. I love bergamot! Ooh. Restarts and warm sandalwood. I love sandalwood. This is the scent. They call them I've pure fumes. It. They call them pure fumes because they're pure. Oh, I get it. I thought it was supposed to be something else, like it's not for your body. I've been smelling this the entire Congress. It's very nice. Oh my oh, god. Yeah. Yeah. I, no, yeah. You've been smelling it in the whole Yeah, I love that. So tell me this is cookies. Oh my. Let me You think it's more snacks? Vegan cookies. Now show us those nasty shoes you wanted to wear. First of all, my socks, these socks, useless. What are those? Useless. They're supposed to be like the no what show are those? socks. Yeah, I have no show socks too. This is what has been happening to me. My pinky toe is just exposed. Ma'am. What? As a non-hairstylist, what did you think? Did you enjoy it? I enjoyed it. Because it wasn't just about hair. Mm -hmm. It's about so much more than hair. Those models are brave to just let them cut whatever kind of cut they want. I can understand styling. Like I, I've done it before. I was a hair model. It was, it was rough, but I've done it before. But to cut your hair? That takes confidence, and those models will work in it. Will you be my hair model? No, not not in that sense. Well, anyways, we're gonna hit the hay now. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. Any haze, time to go. That's Bye. all we wrote.